Apple's Let Loose event just wrapped up and I am pretty impressed with the new iPad Pros. As far as the Air, it just got a bigger size and that's nothing really to write home about. It also starts at the same price, so which is pretty good. I was expecting the Airs to be a little bit more expensive. The Pros, I believe they're still at the same price, but it, at least they start at 256, which is the in my opinion, the perfect size. The Pros have an option for a nano texture display. However, you only can order that option if you opt for the one terabyte or two terabyte models. I am not sure why they can just slap that on to the 256 or the 512. They also announced a new version of Final Cut. They call it Final Cut 2. I personally think that Final Cut is better on the desktop. I've been using Final Cut for a little over a year now and I know my opinion doesn't mean much compared to someone who's been using Final Cut Pro for longer than I have. But if I had to choose between using it on the laptop or the iPad, I would choose the laptop. I can see there is a market for those who want to edit videos on their iPad. Maybe they cannot afford a MacBook and the iPad is the next best thing, which is fine. There was no mention of special software features that the new iPads would have. And that is because iOS 17 is in its last leg of its development cycle. So 17.5 is supposed to come out pretty soon. Apple will announce iPad OS 18 at WWDC. So we can expect to see a lot of new features that hopefully these new iPads will take advantage of because quite frankly, I'm still in the camp that the less expensive iPads can do just as much as the more expensive iPad Pros. Hopefully iPad OS 18 has something special to add. That way Apple can justify users opting for the iPad Pro. There's a new Magic Keyboard, but you know, if you're if you're spending all of that money on an iPad plus the $300 keyboard, you're just going to get into MacBook Air territory, MacBook Pro territory, and I don't know. I think you would just be better off with an actual laptop, but I'm old school. I am actually planning on going to the store just to take a look at the new Ultra XDR display to see if it's really such a big deal. From a software perspective, I don't see any advantages. And hopefully with my time at the store and if I do decide to purchase it, maybe some time using Final Cut for iPad or any of the these pro apps, Maybe my opinion will change. I will keep my mind open. What do you think? Do you think that you will purchase the new iPad Pros? Let me know in the comments. And thank you all for watching this video. It really helps me out determining what type of videos you are interested in. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.